everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today I'm back painting the second model I'm going to do from Fireteam Zero. This is a game by Emergent Games. This is currently on Kickstarter. Uh, they did send me all of the models for free. Uh, that's very kind of them. Appreciate that. And I'm going to paint some of them for you guys to see. As I said, it is currently on Kickstarter. It's doing very well. It's at over 200% funded at the moment. So it's definitely going to fund and it looks like it's going to be a big fund at that. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be painting the Splinter Fiend. That's an elite monster available in the game. It's quite a simple model. It looks like a wooden effect plus an extra colour. The reason I'm showing you this is there's quite a lot of these wooden effect models in the in the game. So I think covering one will cover quite a lot of them, like the Wooden Man Elite Monster, for example, as well. So I'll start off just by showing you the model before I've done any painting to it. Just uh, before you could see, it's quite a thin model. I mean, this guy obviously watches what he eats. He's doing well for himself. And I just wanted to see, he's quite big, but quite thin. So there's a lot of sort of surface area, all these these parts that you can reach through him. So I'm just taking Charred Brown by Vallejo here and quite a cheap brush. I don't want to damage one of my favourite brushes while I'm um, priming it. So I'm priming directly using Vallejo's. The game colours are available so you can prime without using a spray primer. And I'm finding them working pretty well to be honest. So it does save me going outside and when I'm trying to knock out quite a few of these tutorials quite quickly it's... It's sort of good that I don't have to keep interrupting and waiting for a day that I can spray and prime a bunch of models. This is quite a watery cover, so it's probably about 50% water and 50% of the, the actual paint colour. And I'm just applying that as sort of quickly and evenly as I can across all, all of the areas of the model. So we'll just time travel a little bit, leap forward, and that's now the primer and the base coat completely done. So I covered the whole model in the charred brown and the base as well, just to give it that first coat. And now we're on to highlighting, so it's as simple as that. That was the base coat done. And second step, highlighting. Next colour, we'll be using Earth by Vallejo. And I'm taking my small dry brush here. And I'm just applying a very small amount of paint and lightly scraping that across the model so it's catching all those raised areas, all these sorts of branches and roots and just, you know, as you expect the tree to grow, it's sort of twined and twined, tangled all together. And there's lots of areas for this, uh, lots of points for this uh, dry brush highlight to catch on. So it's going to really make the, the model look very 3D, very, I think, very well painted for a very, very small amount of time. I'd pick this as a model. If you're not sure about painting, this is a very, very good one to start on. It's not going to take very much time. You get to try dry brushing, which is quite a very easy technique, especially if you're a beginner. I, I recommend giving this a try and it's an, uh, an area where you've got nothing you can do wrong there's no colors to accidentally dry brush onto so you just wanting to cover the whole model and that's that that's the highlighting completely done so we're just going to add a little bit of detail now so i'm taking electric blue by vallejo and we're going to paint in two eyes that i can't see them on the model i could see one i can't see the other in the artwork i could see two so i thought i'd paint them on and then he's also sort of producing this blue glow from inside so i'm going to paint i'm just copying the art on the card and i'm just going to be painting in the areas on the card which are glowing through blue. So I'm painting deep with that and then I'm just going to add a little bit of the blue around the branches which would the light I think would be emitting and catching those branches on, on sort of the edge of these holes. So there's two on the front and two on the back, just touching up the eye a little bit there. Next I'm going to mix 50% of the white primer, that's just the white by Vallejo, in with that electric blue and just add a highlight to that. So I'm just going to paint a small bit in the in the middle of all of those and just try and make it look like the lights emitting from that central source then the final step so that's how quick this model is is i just like to paint the the base as black it's nice quick and easy and it makes the model stand out very very well i think for very little effort and it's easy to change later on and um, it's a it's a good coat to have no matter what you're doing to the base so recommend that as well if you're if you're unsure of what to do so i just paint that with my regiment brush and we're going to be done and that's it that's the model completely finished i said it was nice and simple not a lot to it i think it looks pretty good it looks like a tree that's trying to kill you so you can't go wrong with that and there you see it took 31 minutes no time whatsoever um i think the wooden man's quite a horde based monster so you can knock out a whole army of these relatively quickly as i mentioned this this is currently on kickstarter the second printing so please do go and check that out and thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed